Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create discount items within your item list to discount another line item or line items within your sales form. If you create a discount and then use it within an invoice, it will apply the discount to the line item amount directly above it, but not to any other items. Therefore, this item is often used in conjunction with the subtotal item when it is used in your sales forms. For example, you can place the subtotal item underneath a list of items within an invoice, and then place the discount item underneath the subtotal item, removing the specified amount or percentage of the discount item from the subtotal. You create discount items by first opening the item list. To then create a new item, click the item button in the lower left corner of the list window, and then select the new command. In the new item window that appears, you can then select discount from the type dropdown. In the new item window, you can enter a name for the discount into the item name slash number box. If you want to place the discount as a sub-item of another discount item that you have created, then you can check the sub-item of checkbox and then select the main discount item from the adjacent drop-down. You can then enter a description of the discount to display in invoices and sales receipts into the description field. Next, enter either the percentage or amount of the discount into the amount or percentage field. Note that you must include the percent symbol if the amount that you want to enter is a percentage discount. Otherwise, QuickBooks will assume the number entered is a flat amount. Next, you can select the account used to track discount amounts from the account dropdown. Finally, you must decide whether the percentage discount is taken before or after sales tax has been calculated. To do this, use the tax code drop-down to set either tax, which applies the discount before sales tax is calculated, or select non to apply the discount after sales tax has been calculated. Now once you've created the discount item, you can then click the OK button to save the item into the item list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.